What's up guys? Welcome back to the Mac Rear Music Channel. So I just wanted to do a video to talk about my plans for 2022, which you can expect to see on this channel. And uh, one of the first things that I want to do is, is use better lighting and better audio. So I've got this side light over here. I'm trying to get my profile, you know, and then I've got this background light over there, you know, trying to light that stuff up. I might put a color back there or something at some point, add some mood. Um, I've got this, uh, this lavalier microphone um, down here to hopefully catch my voice a little bit better. Uh, also, aesthetically, I like it better than having some big like podcaster mic in my face. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to up my game a little bit on the production end of things this year. But uh, aside from that, let's talk about the things that we're going to do this year. I've got a lot of ideas. I've got a lot of things that I want to share with you guys out there on my channel. So. Um, Number one, uh, we're going to finish some things that didn't get finished last year. Uh, number one, I'm going to finish my SP series. I'm going to do a video on the Roland SP404SX. Probably should have done that before the Mark II came out, but whatever, I'm a completionist. I'm going to do it anyway, so if you're a fan of my SP series of videos, we are going to get to that one. I don't know if I'm going to do the Mark II. I don't know if I'm going to get one. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, other samplers, I've got this Roland MV8800 back here. Now this thing is a beast. I could do an entire channel devoted to just things that this does, but I've already found some really cool stuff, especially in like sound design areas. You can sample some things and really do some neat things with it on this. So I'm probably going to cover some of that. Uh, I've also got an Akai MPC 2500. I've had it for a while, but I've never put it on my channel. So we'll do some videos with that. Uh, I'm gonna, and I'm going to continue making some videos with my MPC 500. So a lot of different sampler stuff, and I'm sure I'll keep using my PO33 because if you watch my channel at all, you know I'm pretty much addicted to that little thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see, other than that, uh, I've got some other series that I want to promote. Um, I've got a bunch of digital recorders. Uh, some are like the handheld, some are the multi-track kind of studio in a box kind of things. And I've got old ones, new ones. I've got Tascam, Fostex, Zoom. I've got an old Roland. Um, so I'm going to do a series on those because I think it'd be fun to look at options for people who don't want to record with a computer or just to look at how that it used to be done back in the day. Um, so if that's interesting, you know, make sure you subscribe so you get updates on that. Uh, I'm also going to um, continue a series that I've done on, on my crap keys, which is what I lovingly refer to as my, uh, my obsolete kids keyboards from the 80s, like old Casios, old Yamahas, stuff like that. I've got a Facebook group called Crap Keys, so it's all, it's all tongue in cheek. It's supposed to be fun. I'm not, not making fun of them. Uh, I happen to love the things. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I've got some other vintage gear that I'm gonna show. Uh, I've got an Oberheim DX that I think would be a lot of fun to do some videos on. Uh, I've got a Yamaha QY300, which is kind of an obsolete piece of gear. The sounds are pretty outdated nowadays, but as a sequencer, it's an absolute beast. So I wanna show that off, because it's one of those things that you might be a modern producer and you come across one of those cheap and you're like, ah, should I get this? I don't know. I'm going to make a video to help you make that decision. And I'll probably do some more videos like that as we go. Um, another thing, another huge goal for 2022 for me is to get this album out that I've been working on for like five or six years. Um, and uh, mostly I've been doing it in the DAW with the hardware that I have in my studio. And it's a much more complex process. It takes a lot of iterations to get uh, the mix right, to get the song arranged just the way I want it, to get to where I just think everything is as good as it possibly can be. And I don't generally profile that on my, on my channel. I tend to focus on hardware and little jams and stuff. But um, either before or after, I'm not sure yet, but when the album comes out, uh, I'm gonna pick some of the songs from the record and do like an analysis on those. And I'll get like screen capture going on on my DAW and I'll just walk through like, this is this part, this is that part, this is what I was doing here, here's some effects that I used, EQ, uh, and really go in depth on, on some of those tracks uh, so you can see the background. I have some ideas for music videos that I wanna make for some of the songs. So uh, I'll probably try to incorporate more performance aspects. Um, if I am able to do shows this year. I'll try to film those. Uh, who knows what 2022 is going to be like uh, with this Omicron thing and all that's going on. But uh, yeah, lots of lots of ideas this year. And always I'm going to keep doing jams, going to keep doing, you know, techno and jungle and, and house and drum and bass and, and, and hip hop and all those things. 
uh, because at the end of the day I'm a musician and uh, that's really what I want my focus to be on. But uh, yeah, lots of things that I plan. I'm really excited about this year. If you have ideas or questions or things that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. I definitely take those into consideration when I'm making new content. Um, other than that, guys, uh, I hope you also have an excellent 2022. Uh, I know the past couple years have not been very fun in this world, but uh, let's hope that it gets better. And uh, I, I wish you a, a creative and happy and healthy new year. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you later. Bye.